Hello dear children, how are you all? I hope everybody is fine at your homes. So today we will be continuing with the next part of the same chapter that is chapter number 1 looking back. You all remember children in our previous video we have discussed about the three methods or the three ways of representation of numbers. You all remember? So tell me what were the three methods or the three ways of representation of numbers? The very first way was the standard form. Then comes the word form and the third form was the expanded form. So you will remember all these three ways of representation of numbers. So today we are going to solve sums based on standard form and word form. So the very first sum is this. Write the standard form and the word form for each of the following numbers. Which means for there are some numbers given to us. Okay. For those numbers we have to first of all write the standard form. And then for that standard form we have to give the word form also. Okay children. So let's start. First, three hundreds plus nine tens plus eight ones. So this is which form of expressing the number? This is the expanded form. Yes, we have done the expanded form also. So this is the expanded form of the numbers given. Looking at these expanded forms, we have to form the standard one and the word form. So let's start with the first question. Three hundreds plus nine tens plus eight ones. So let's start. The very first place beginning from the right hand side is which one? It is the ones place. Then comes the tens place. And then is the hundreds place. Yes? So now we are going to write the standard form. Tell me children how many hundreds were there? There were three hundreds. Three hundreds hai hapar. So tell me which digit I am going to write under the hundreds place? I will write the digit three. Why three? Why not nine? Because with hundreds there were three. Matlab kitne hundreds ke hamare paas? Hamare paas three hundreds the. So that is why we have written three under the hundreds place. Now next we will move on towards the tens place. So tell me how many tens are there? Looking at this problem. Yes, there are nine tens. Kitne tens hai? Nine. So which number will come under the tens place? It will be number nine. Now we will move on towards the ones place. So again we will check that how many ones are there in this number. There are eight ones. How many ones? Eight ones. So which digit will come under the ones place? It will be the digit 8. So we got the number what children? Let us read out. As 3 is under the hundreds place, it will become what? 300. 9 is under the tens place. So 9 tens becomes 90. Yes. And there are 8 ones in the ones place. So we write ones as it is. There is no change. When we write the ones place. So the number becomes 300. 9 tens is 98. So the number is 398. Now after we have written the standard form. Next we will have to write the word form for this number. So let's start writing the word form. Word form is what? Simply writing the spellings. So let's begin. As 3 is there, so we will write the spelling of 3 first. 3. 3 is under the hundreds place. So it will become 300. Then 9 tens. 9 tens becomes 90. So we will write the spelling of 90. And there is 
There are 
zero tens with us. Plus zero ones. Now how many ones are there? There are again zero ones. So let us form the number looking at this expanded form. Okay. So first we are going to write the places. Let us mark the places. Ones, tens and hundreds. So as seven was there than hundreds. Tell me which digit will come under the hundreds place? It will be the digit seven. So I have written seven over here. Then as tens was having zero with it. So again in place of ten under the tens place we are going to write zero. Then zero ones. So now you all will tell me which digit will come under the ones place? It will be the digit zero because there were zero ones. So now can you read the number? Seven zero zero. Read it out. We read it out. Read it out as seven hundred. How we read it? Seven hundred. Let us write the word form. Seven hundred. Okay. So I hope you all have understood how we have done the standard form and the word form of the sum numbers looking at the expanded form. Yes, children. So let's move further. Now here we will be beginning. With our second question, write the standard form and the expanded form for each of the following number names. This means number names are given to us. Can you see, children? We have number names given. Number names means word form is given to us, and we have to write the standard form as well as the expanded form. Of these number names, all these three things we have studied in our previous videos: standard form, word form, and the expanded form. So these three are together over here. So let's start, children. Now the very first number name is given to be what? Six hundred sixty-nine. What is it? Six hundred sixty. Nine. So let's write the standard form for this word form. For this, we will first give the places. If you all will go according to the places, it will make it very clear, very easy for you. So let's start. Six hundred. How many hundreds? Six hundreds. So tell me. Looking up to here, six hundred, and you all tell me. Which digit will come at the hundred place? How many hundreds are there? There are six hundreds. Is it hundred place? Me, which digit will come? It will be the digit six. Clear. Next is sixty-nine. Now tell me how we write sixty-nine. Six nine is sixty-nine. यानी कि how many tens are there? Six tens are there. Now we know six. Tens sixty one. Yes. So again, I am going to write six because six tens will make sixty. And then is the digit nine. Nine will come under the ones place. Yes. So here we have got our number six hundred sixty nine. Clear. Now for this standard form, we are going to write the expanded form. Also, so you all remember how we write the expanded form? Expanded form is what? Simply the sum of the place values. ये ही पढ़ा था हमने. So let's start. First is what? As six is under the hundreds place, so its place value will be what? Six multiplied by hundred. यानी कि six hundred. So six hundred is the place value of the six at hundred place. Yes. Next we will move towards the tens place. Again six is there under the tens place. So six tens will become sixty. So plus six zero sixty. Yes. Again we put the sign of addition and we move towards the Ones place. Just check what is under the ones place. It is the digit nine. What's the digit here? Nine. So simply we are going to write nine. Oh.
over here. Clear children? But how we have done the expanded form and the standard form when the word form of the number was given to us? Okay. So let's do the second one. Seven hundred. How many hundreds? Seven hundreds. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. So let us first give the places. Ones, tens, hundreds. Now again let us read and find out which digit will go under which place. Seven hundred. How many hundreds? Seven. So how many hundreds will come under the hundreds place? It will be the digit seven. Next, thirty-four. How many are thirty-four children? Three four is thirty-four. Yes. Let's see if there are thirty-four more. Okay. We can look another way. That if thirty is there, this means three tens will make thirty only. So. We will come under the tens place because three tens becomes thirty and it is four. So four will come over here. Clear? So we got our number seven hundred thirty-four. Now for the standard form, we have to give the expanded form also. So let us write. First of all, tell me how many hundreds were there? There were seven hundreds. So let us write seven hundreds. Yes, we have written seven hundreds. Then put the sign of addition. Come to the tens place. Here tens place is having the digit three with it. Which digit is three? And three ka place value kya hoga? As three is under the tens place, so its place value will be three tens of thirty. Number three tens are thirty. Now again, we will come to the ones place. Ones place has the digit four with it. So we will simply write four. How many four ko aise hi kyu likha? Because we know four ones are as four. So that is why we have to write written it simply four. Moving to the third problem. Nine hundred eight. What is it? Nine hundred eight. So, looking at this problem, it is clear that tens place is having no digit. Yes, because in our problem, tens place was badi nahi hua. So let us solve. As it was nine hundred, so hundreds place will have a digit nine. Yes. Now it is eight. So as it is eight, so can you tell me eight will come under which place? Tens ki place pe aayega ya ones ki place par aayega? Tell me, children. Yes, it will come under the ones place. Why? Agar ye tens ki place pe aana hota, to yaha par to eighty hota. Yes, eight tens to eighty hota hai. Par yaha par to eight likha hai. Yes, eight is written over here. So eight is a single line. Which digit is there under the ones place? It is the digit eight. 
क्या हुआ आप लोग को हमने कैसे स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म और एक्सपैंडेड फॉर्म बनाया जब हमें वर्ड फॉर्म दिया हुआ था यस लेट जस्ट सॉल्व फ्यू मोर प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर दिस चैप्टर एंड देन यू विल मूव फॉरवर्ड रीच टू द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ आर टुडे क्लास सो लिसन इट्स केयरफुली चिल्ड्रन डिस्कवर द पैटर्न एंड राइट द मिसिंग नंबर्स यू नो व्हाट आर पैटर्न्स आप लोग ने पैटर्न्स पढ़े हैं क्लास टू में सो दीज आर द सेम पैटर्न्स व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट ओवर हियर इन क्लास थ्री वी हैव टू लुक एट दीज पैटर्न्स वी हैव टू यूज आर ओन ब्रेन एंड देन वी हैव टू फिल इन दीज मिसिंग फिगर्स ओके चिल्ड्रन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टूगेदर द वेरी फर्स्ट नंबर इज वॉट थ्री हंड्रेड वन देन आफ्टर दैट इट इज थ्री हंड्रेड थ्री then it is 305 and then it is 307 so can you tell me looking at these figures ki ye pattern kaise move kar raha hai pehle yahan par 301 tha but ab ye 303 ho gaya how 301 became 303 301 303 kaise ban gaya see agar humne one par two add kar diya 301 में अगर हम टू ऐड करते हैं तो क्या बनेगा 302, 303, यस हमें मिला 303, हम फिर से चेक करते हैं ना इफ इट वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड थ्री नाउ इट बी नेम वॉट थ्री हंड्रेड फाइव तो ये 303, 305 हंड्रेड फाइव कैसे बन गया लेट सी थ्री हंड्रेड फोर थ्री हंड्रेड फाइव अगेन कितने का डिफरेंस आया टू का Now, if I am going to check for these two figures, so ये पहले यहाँ पर five था, अब यहाँ पर ये seven हो गया in the ones place, yes? तो five seven कैसे बन गया? Again, there is a gap of two, or there is a difference of two, yes? इसका मतलब क्या हो रहा है? कि अगर हम first number पे two add कर रहे हैं, तो हमें second number मिला। जब हम second number पे two add कर रहे हैं, तो हमें third number मिला। और जब हमने थर्ड नंबर पे डिवाइड किया सो वी गॉट द नेक्स्ट नंबर इसका मतलब क्या है कि हर जगह पर प्लस टू प्लस टू प्लस टू हुआ है यस क्या हुआ है प्लस टू का एडिशन हुआ है मतलब फर्स्ट नंबर पे टू ऐड किया तो सेकंड मिला सेकंड नंबर पे फिर से टू ऐड किया तो थर्ड मिला एंड इट गोज सो ऑन सो Let us find out the missing figures or the missing blanks. अब अगर यहाँ पर 307 था, तो आप लोग उसमें two और add करिए. It will become 308, 309. What it became? 309. So now we are going to write it over here. 309. After we got 309, it's the chance for the next blank. फिर से हम इसमें टू ऐड करेंगे सो थ्री हंड्रेड टेन थ्री हंड्रेड इलेवन सो नाउ वट वी गोइंग टू राइट इट ओवर यू एन द नेक्स्ट प्लान थ्री हंड्रेड इलेवन सो थ्री वन वन अब इलेवन के बाद हमें टू प्लेसेस और आगे जाना है तो इट विल बी ट्वेल्व थर्टी सो आर नेक्स्ट नंबर विल बी थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी अब आप लोग बताइए 313 के बाद व्हाट नंबर मिल रहा है? इट विल बी 315 वेरी गुड आफ्टर 315 एड टू मोर टू इट टू फाइंड आउट द नेक्स्ट नंबर 316 317 सो वी विल राइट इट ओवर हियर 317 आफ्टर 317 What will be the next number in the blank? Three hundred eighteen, three hundred nineteen. So after three hundred seventeen, given the gap or the difference of two numbers, I got three hundred nineteen. So here my first pattern is completed. Have you understood how I have formed this pattern? Addition of two to the previous number will give the next number. Clear. Then let us move to the second problem. It is five hundred and ten. Five hundred ten and ten. Then it's five hundred fifty. Then it's five hundred twenty. After that, it is five hundred twenty-five. So can you tell me what is the pattern going on here? Okay. Subject number five at the hundred place is same. Now when we move to the tens and the ones place, there is a difference. 
eights are forty. So it will become forty. Next is five forty five. Now after forty five, it will be what fifty. So five hundred fifty. Next to it will be five hundred fifty five. So this completes our series. Let us move on to the third pattern. First, it is the number four hundred and sixty. What is the number, children? Four hundred sixty. Then it became four hundred eighty. Sixty kya banana? Eighty. Now it became five hundred. After five hundred, it became twenty. So, यहाँ पर किस किस का addition हुआ? कि number change होते गए. Let us see. When it was four hundred eighty, let's subtract the previous number. So four hundred eighty minus four hundred sixty will give us what? Zero, two, and zero. This means there is a difference of two. Let us check for the next numbers. As it is five hundred over here, and previously. Will be 
remain the same. After 3, it will be 4 here. Now take the next one. It will be 5, 8, 5. After 5 comes 6. And 8 and 5 are going to remain the same. Then 7, 8, 5. After the 7, it will be 8. And 85 will remain as it is. After 8, it will be 9, 8, 5. We can go in this way or we can see another way. Just see. Second number was 185. And what was the first number children? It was simply 85. Now if we subtract these two, what we get to know that there is a difference of 100. Let us check once again. 285, third number this is minus 185. 5 and 5 will give 0, 8 and 8 will give 0, 2 minus 1 will get 1. So again, we have seen the difference of 100. Yes, this is the second day also. That there is a difference of 100, 100 in the last series. Clear children? With what all we have done today? Standard form, expanded form, word form and lastly we are done with this patterns and missing the fill in the missing patterns. Clear? So this was all for our today's class. In the next class, we will be continuing with the same topic. Till then, revise your work.